Hello, my name is Tim Blady, and I'm with OFO's Training and Outreach Team. And with me today is Patricia St. Clair, who's the Assistant Director of OFO's Training and Outreach Division. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome. Thank you, Tim. So today we're here to talk about the 2018 Executive Leadership Training Conference. But before we get into the specifics of this year's conference, can we talk a little bit about why EEOC has this conference and sponsors it? Sure. The conference was developed about seven years ago and is the brainchild of Carlton Haddon. This was in response to our EEO directors requesting a leadership conference that moved beyond our technical competencies. So the conference is designed to ensure that current leaders and aspiring leaders will have the opportunity to come together and really work on developing their leadership skills and abilities. So this really doesn't focus on EEO matters so much, but just leadership skills. Yes, strictly leadership skills. Okay, so um, we've had the conference at different times and places, and I just wondered this year, where is it specifically and what time are you? This year it's being held in Charlottesville, Virginia, October 29th through the 31st, and we will be at Boar's Head Resort, an educational training facility. Sounds exciting. It is. As a matter of fact, Virginia in the fall is a beautiful place. Ah. Okay, so great location. So tell me about the format about the conference itself. Well, the conference is about two and a half days. And day one, we will have a excellent opportunity to coach each other. So the participants will have an opportunity to engage in peer coaching. Also, we will hear from Vanessa Phipps, who will do a dynamic presentation on developing your political savvy. And I'm definitely looking forward to that particular session because being able to influence and influence leaders and get buy-in is critical for the success of persons within our community. Okay, and I understand that there's an experiential part of the uh, program as well. Oh yeah, that's on day two. And that part is an opportunity for us to break into different teams and engage in a little friendly competition. And it will really call on leaders to identify how they effectively communicate, how they problem solve, and how they can work together collaboratively. So team building is really important for this conference? Yes, it's a lot of team building and a lot of pro problem solving and the opportunity to think strategically. If persons go on our website, they can read more about day two of the conference and the entire conference. Okay. So we'll give them that website at the end, I guess. Yep. So maybe a little bit more about uh, the content and speakers, some other speakers, or at least the subject matter? Well, we're going to focus on influencing leaders and value-based leadership. The value-based leadership portion really is an opportunity for leaders to identify their core values and to figure out how they can ensure that they bring their whole self to the workplace every day. Ah, okay. So if you were to say just one thing or had one thing to say to those out there listening about why they should attend the conference, what would that be? Well, it's an opportunity for leaders and aspiring leaders to come together, really focus in on developing their leadership skills, think about their strategic planning for the new fiscal year, and just get away and think about how do they bring their best selves into the workplace for FY19. Great. Thanks, Patricia. Thanks, Tim. So, everyone out there, if you would go to eeocleadershipconference.com, you can register, and we look forward to seeing you there. See you in Virginia. Bye.